in this video we will be learning about converting date time and date time objects to its equivalent string so we will import date time from date time so from date time we will import date time and a variable now will contain date time dot now so this will contain the current date time time I will print now so you can see it is printing the current date and time so now we will create a variable here equals now dot str f time and then we will put a format code percentage y so this will give the year print year and then we will put year variable inside it so you can see it is printing the year variable so similarly we will do it for the current month and current date ok so we will change the format code for month as m and then we will put here month we will change here also month month and then here also I am changing it to month here the format code for day is d and then we will change here to day and then here also I will change to day and here also I am changing it to day so when we run it so you can see it is printing year month and day also so now let's do here for the time also so time equals now dot strf time and then we'll put the format code as percentage h percentage m and then percentage s for second now we'll just print it point time and then we'll put the time so you can see it is printing the current time so similarly we can do it for the combination of date and time so I am going to print date underscore time this will be a new variable inside that now dot strf time and then I am going to put the format codes as m and then for date b and then for year capital Y and then R month R minute so I am going to do percentage H for R for percentage H for minute and percentage S for seconds and now I will print the date and time and I will just put the date 1 date underscore time 1 so when I am printing it so it is giving the output so you can change here also the format I am going to put here M and here D so you can see the change in the output so now we will take an example of the timestamp so let me put a timestamp timestamp equals let's say 166 eight seven nine and then seven three two two so this is our timestamp and now we are going to create a variable name date time and then we will put date time and then from timestamp so it is coming here timestamp and then we will put the timestamp variable inside it and then we will print the date and time date time object and then we will put the date underscore time so you can see the uh, date and time stored inside the timestamp is been printed now we will use some format code in this also so let me use some so d equals date underscore time dot strf time and then I am going to put the 
variables as type format code as percentage m percentage d percentage capital y and then for r percentage f and then percentage m then percentage as for seconds i am going to print it as output output let's say output 2 is d so when you print it it is giving sorry i have made a mistake in the position mark I'll put it here so you can see it is giving in the format of month day and year so similarly we will use another format code d equals to date underscore time dot sgrf time and then i am going to put percentage small d and percentage b and then percentage y for year let me print the d print it as output number 3 and then I will put D so you can see it is giving here as 18 NOV and then 20 22 so if I print it here capital B it will give the full November you can see it is giving November when I have changed it to B so now let's do another one D equals date underscore time and then dot sgrf time and i am going to put here percentage capital i and then percentage p and now i am going to print it as output number four output number four and then i am going to put here d so when i print it it is giving